Hey there, my name is Chase Jackson, Vice President of Sales and Marketing with Energy Easy. And the video topic of our video series today is on employee termination. More specifically, the concept of don't fire your employees. So we are living in an American economy where it's kind of become common practice that cutting labor is the first thing that American companies and corporations do to reduce operational costs. And uh, it turns out this method and operational strategy is not the most efficient and most effective for your organization moving forward. So what do you do when you have an employee that is not meeting your organization's standard and quality of work? Uh, the first thing that you should do is you should show empathy and take a larger perspective on the situation. Uh, why is this person acting this way? What is the company? How is the company treating him or her that might be a significant factor in their actions and decision-making processes and the quality of their work? Um, if you are someone that is quick to fire people, uh, note how efficient is that really? Because um, you're going to have to fire. Uh, you're going to have to find someone to replace them. And in doing that, you're going to find someone with a similar skill set. And if your company is going to be treating that person the same way that they have treated the person that you let go, then three months, ago, three months later from now, you are going to be in the exact spot that you are currently with a disgruntled employee who is acting out against, um, against the organization. So don't fire people. It's an inefficient practice. And... If you're not going to fire them, what should you do? So you have an employee that's not meeting your standards of your organization at your company. Worse shit, you have found that he has been in the lunchroom taking unnecessary dollars out of the cash drawer to buy Fritos from the vending machine. He is stealing from the company. It's worse than you thought. But you're not going to terminate him. You're going to be an empathetic employer, and you're going to try and understand where he's coming from. So what should you do? Well, what you should not do is bring that person into your office and give him orders on what he should be doing for the company. Um, no one likes an authoritarian, authoritarian leader, and this is going to bring short-term change and uh, telling your uh, employee what he needs to be doing better and what he is doing wrong is just going to bring passive resistance on his part and you're going to be in the same place that you uh, that you are in right now um, again in the near future. So what you should not do is tell your employee what he is doing wrong. So we're not going to terminate the employee. We're not going to tell him what he's doing wrong. We're not going to be authoritarian and give him orders. So what should you do? What you should do is you should have a conversation with that employee that revolves around getting him in a positive, emotional, attractor state. Talk to him about what his goals are. What are his passions? What does he want to be five years from now? What is the legacy that he wants to leave for his family? When we all go into work at the start of our day, no matter we're a CEO of a company, or someone in one of the lower level positions, we all want to learn, we all want to get better, and we all want to cooperate with one another. Uh, being in a corporate level position, that may be hard to believe, but research shows that it's true. And research shows that termination and authorita authoritative tactics are not the most efficient and effective way to be a leader of an organization. What you want to do is you want to get that employee in a positive, emotional, attractor state. And what that does is that it opens up the employee's mind to new ideas, new possibilities, new ways of thinking that will allow him to leave your office wanting to work for your organization, wanting to improve his quality of work, wanting to learn, and wanting to grow.